Hi, my name is Richie Plunger from the Poppetum Geek, and today we're taking a look at AOMesh by ASUS. AOMesh is a whole new way of creating a mesh network in your house, and we've taken a look at other mesh systems in the past, and they're great, it's amazing, and a lot of companies have gone down this path now as an option. Bring in AMesh by ASUS by constructing your own mesh network with a mixture of different routers that you may already own by ASUS. AMesh enables you to enjoy smooth, seamless roaming between routers just like any other mesh network. So no more multiple SSIDs across floors, you can be happy with just one SSID to rule them all. No matter what band you're on, AMesh will intentionally choose the best possible backhaul resource for the most optimal performance. Now, I don't know about you, but I always hated the problem with existing mesh systems where you have to choose to either go with a unified SSID or lose mesh altogether. Now, with AI Mesh, you can leave your legacy IoT devices on 2.4 GHz to maximum capabilities and also have your 5 GHz for more data intensive for optimal performance. Now, if you have multiple AI Mesh points in your house and one fails, don't stress. Like I said, AI Mesh does all the work for you. AI Mesh will seamlessly move your devices to the best available node while it repairs your network, ensuring for uninterrupted dropouts which no one ever likes. Like I said, AMesh does all the work for you and just takes the stress out of everything. Now, if you have an ASUS router and you wanna get this all set up, it's actually really simple. It's stupidly how simple they made this. And I'm not just saying that because, and if you're, if, back in the day, if you had a couple of routers in your house and you had you know, a double story house or just a lengthy house, you would use those existing routers to try to create a bridge so people can connect to other SSDs. You know, you could have, you know, front of house, a rear of house, outside, all this crazy stuff that you just messed around with. But it was like, if you weren't really tech savvy, it was pretty complicated. And if you weren't tech savvy at all, it was just something you didn't really do. It was just like, uh, you know, that house is just pretty weak. Just don't go over there. So today we've got two ASUS routers here with me. It's the RTAC88U and the RTAC5300. Now I'm not reviewing them today, but I'll put some links down below where you can go check them out. Both are really great routers for your home or gaming setup, and I just wish the AC5300 had more network ports. I'm sure a lot of people wish that as well. Now make sure you reset your firmware settings on your routers to default to allow for pairing. Make sure you update your router as well to the latest firmware to allow for AI mesh. You can either set up your AI mesh through your browser or through the ASUS router app on your phone. Do whatever is easier for you. Then just search for other AMS routers on your network and that's it, you're connected. Now I'm not gonna go into detail on how to actually connect your router you know, to the internet. Um, you know, that's a whole different story, there's heaps of tutorials out there and I'm sure you know, ASUS actually has a separate guide on that as well. Um, but once you get that all going, it's actually really simple, just in your top right corner, there's like you know, AMS points right there, you just search, that's it, if you, if you connect it via Wi-Fi uh, or LAN, it will automatically pop up saying there, and you just click a button, that's it, it's done. They, they do all the work for you, <laughs> like it's, I'm not, just, it's, I'm not just saying that because it's like, oh you, know, oh you know, it's super easy to connect. It's literally, couldn't be easier. And I think that's a really strong point with AI Mesh, and uh, I mean, not, not just with the product, but just with, with certain things and with users just making it more simpler for people to use and connect and get working because the most frustrating thing can be sometimes just troubleshooting and just troubleshooting things why isn't this working how can I get this to match with this and especially when you're working with multiple routers it's great to know that they do everything in the back end and just say you know what take whatever's here match it with that and create one network as opposed to making sure we've got you know one IP that is talking to it's it can get pretty technical um, and it's really great that I guess ASUS has done that. So like I said, you have a couple ways of connecting your router together. You can either have it on your network, on your LAN, or via Wi-Fi, which I personally love because that means you can just set it up anywhere and it just works. Um, and you know, you can, I reckon you get a faster signal on Wi-Fi, I, I believe. It depends on your connection anyways. Okay, so right now we're gonna do a signal strength test on our network. Um, we're using our existing network right here called the Promised Land, which you can see um, both routers are in this room. It's sort of at the rear of the house. And if we just sort of walk around, I guess, to one end of the house right now, we can monitor the signal. We should see a bit of 
lost here, so let's just change that to automatic. There we go, just have to refresh that, and we've, you know, dropped, you know, the, the router that I do have is pretty good, uh, but we, as you can see here, we did drop a bit of signal strength. Let's just check our actual land, there we go, so we're sitting about 86%, and that's actually not too bad. So just right here is our second router, uh, right away in the garage, it's pretty far, and as you can see here, again, just in the recording, we're sitting about 48%. But as we move towards the house, that's, you know, signal strength is going to boost up. So the whole point of this as well, this is one single network. This is just a 2.4 gigahertz. I actually have a 5 gigahertz as well, but I actually have to tap into that. Whereas, you know, with our ASUS, it will automatically assign us to the best network that it thinks it will go for. You know, phone, a laptop, or PlayStation, whatever network will go, it will automatically assign it to the best, you know, network. Right now, we're connected to the AI Mesh network. Uh, we've got a really good strength uh, signal as well as less noise, surprisingly. But this room in here at the rear of the house has a lot going on. We've got two routers going, we've got my wireless uh, security system. Uh, you know, heaps of different wireless, you know, products here that are emitting signals. So we are going to get a bit of noise, but let's just pop around again. So as you can see, we've connected to the wireless modem in the garage, uh, which is sitting in this, you know, bricked garage here, which has, you know, a lot of the uh, interference that was happening in the house. We're not getting anything like that, hence why we're getting 100% signal, no noise on the network. Um, and that just goes to show as well, not just saying because it's in the garage, but how quickly it changes um, to, you know, the best network. Now, you can tweak this as well to make sure if you do have those nodes quite close to each other, you can sort of tweak it enough so as it comes to a certain amount, it will then switch over to the next node. So if you go into your settings, you can change this so it will quickly jump to the other node as opposed to trying to hang on to your other node at the rear of the house even though it's getting a signal. So this is where you want to sort of tell it to be, you know, at this point, switch over to this node node um, you know it just takes a bit of tweaking in there um, but you can do that and I've found that that only happens with laptops with phones it's not too bad um, with laptops sometimes it tends to happen now this is by all means not a very technical test but from these tests AMesh have shown great connectivity with each other and the fastest throughput now if you want to have some whole car facts our new friend before has an awesome video where he tests his own AMesh system and I hope you can go checking his channel out especially if if you're already down this YouTube hole of mesh system, definitely go check him out. I'll put a link down below and right here somewhere. He's also a network engineer, so if you have any complicated questions, go and ask him and make sure to subscribe as well. Now, one thing to remember though, to get the best possible performance out of your AMS system, you want to make sure you have them positioned right. Also, how many AMS points are you using? Try to minimize the amount of nodes between your primary node. And just because you can get a 2.4 gigahertz signal, try to reduce the distance so you can get a strong 5 gigahertz signal as well. This will ensure you have the best and faster connection at all times. Now, without boring you and trying, you know, just to talk about our image system, give it a go. You will see a definitely increase in performance than any repeater or bridge network. I've experienced really great coverage so far and I'm, it's super flexible. I have one in my garage. If you have a double story house and if you have one upstairs and down, heck, buy another one, have one in your garage as well. With AMS, I found myself connecting my IoT devices to the 2.4 gigahertz, leaving that more free for five gigahertz for better performance. And you know, I guess, you know, sometimes even just making sure everyone's on the 2.4 gigahertz and just leaving the five gigahertz for me, you know, why not? Why not? <laughs> ASUS has made it easier for those who already own an ASUS router to join the mesh lifestyle, making it eco-friendly to use your existing devices as part of your new upgrade. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them down below or hit up my boy before for all technical questions. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Leave a comment down below if you have anything, any questions about anything. How are you going? What's up? You know, it's winter here, it's pretty cold, summer, wherever you are, maybe. But thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.